Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 4. Nothing new going on here. I think I'm going to ditch the doll. I don't even know if I need this. Let's drop that and we'll drop you as well. At some point I'm going to need this lot, I'm sure, but... uh. Now they so they serve no obvious purpose. Back through the hole. Spoopy music. Right, okay, so yeah, none of these. Oh no, the weirdo's gone. Prints or anything here. Oh, okay. Diary here. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door, next door to me, uh, uh, the guy next door to me, who gave me. That rare porn magazine. Nice. Looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare run, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he is always investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st, Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel, what's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. July 2nd, Mike. Uh-huh. Red piece of paper with something written on it. Oh, nothing written on it. I'll stick it under... I'll stick it under room 302's door. Okay. Because that makes sense. Wow, look at all these porno magazines. The guy had a hobby, don't judge. Oh, that was he, or he was very lonely. What's this? This guy, is it the super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Well, let's take it, shall we? Ah, yes, Superintendent's key. Now I can enter the room downstairs. It's a photo of a nurse. It says, I love you on it. Key take to the back of it. Uh, lock a key for 106. Perfect. 
Magazine line open. Teaching to spare Wish House. Wish House, uh, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organisation sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organisation that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr Smith, temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to, dis to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of the their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' uh, fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. And I bet you're dead now, Joseph. Hmm, looks like a lift of some kind. Is that you, Joseph? paper in the door crack. Right, now let's head back downstairs. Right, we've got thing here. Uh, that one? Yes. I love you Rachel, Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Okay. Where is the superintendent's room? Real one, that's where I just was. I think it was on the other side, actually. if it was on the first floor. Yeah, here we go, superintendent's room. Interesting layout. Another diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago that young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared, ran off just like thieves in the night. 
I don't know why, it must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left a newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and I heard the baby survive, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by, but now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that ab abandoned baby. It's a horrible story. Abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Dude. Throw it away. Right, these are sealed off. It's a red box. Man, this thing really stinks. It's practically bringing tears to my eyes. Lovely. Piece of red paper. Got the red paper. I'll stick it under room 302. Found by Nurse Rachel. Return it to room 302 together with the part her boyfriend Mike tore off. There are keys for each apartment here. Ah, so keys to each apartment in the building. Actually, it looks like 303 is missing. Okay, so I can now access all the other apartments. Cool. Oops. Nothing written on it. Okay, I think we're done here. Kitchen sealed off for some reason. Not going to question it. Okay, that's not important. Weird patterns on the walls, nothing unusual about that. No. Uh, my darling's number. And there's some numbers that look like a phone number. You press these numbers. It's a phone ringing somewhere. Hey! A nurse's uniform, then it says Rachel. Get out of the way! I'm going to do actually I'm going to go back to my room 
and see what that first note is. And hope the phone is still ringing when I come back. Plus this will recharge my health without having to use the med, med kit. Big brain. Big brain moves here. Okay, well it's not my phone that's ringing, so that's good. Uh, it was four years ago that they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years, having committed suicide three years before the murder. Interesting. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. But something about it bothered me. May 14. All right, another argument going on. You all right here next door? Looks like Eileen is okay. Looks like she's doing her nails. Good stuff. All right, cool. I need to put these through the door. Yeah, I know you can't use it here. All right. Let's head back through, check out the other rooms downstairs. Phone is still ringing. Stamp, let me stamp. Oh, you fucks. Henry, swing. Henry, Bloody things. Is there nothing in here? Hmm. All right. Oh, a padded room. Excellent. Bullet's recent given off in an eerie glow. Oh, 
Oh, good. Great, nothing in here, at all. Fair enough. Might be on the next floor of the phone. Right, calm down. and skin are so itchy that stupid cat next door made, made my allergy go crazy I was so pissed off I took my converted model gun and blasted away at the thing at point blank range it was way cool the thing just dropped like a stone by the way that revolver that Richard in 207 carries is the real thing that guy's dangerous oh screw off Henry, go through the fucking door! What the fuck are you doing, Henry? Run, you daft prick! Right. All those doors are open. Alright, I'm going to go back up to the top floor, I think. Post the red notes through, come back down, and then head through there. Because if I keep pushing my luck, I am going to die. And I will lose all the progress I've made, because we have made a fair amount of progress, not going to lie. Quite a successful episode in that regard. up some space at least. Head back down, head go back through the hole. Genius plan, genius plan. And we'll get healed back up again without using my med kit. But what a dick move teasing me with a shotgun like that. You bastard game. I wonder having that, putting away that sort of obedience thing was a bad idea. I'll pick it back up actually. And see if that does anything to ward off the ghost. Here we go. I picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. May 20. Okay, so the key to room 303 must be in the super's room then. There's a torn red paper stuck here. Yep, we put it there, mate. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was. It's ripped here and I can't read the rest. Hmm. Interesting. Right. I'll keep the keys. And I'll take you back. 
I'll keep you for emergencies. One of those. Okay. We quickly save. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to end this episode here. We're just about at the half hour mark, so yeah. Not bad for an episode. We've made a decent amount of progress, I think. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This has been Silent Hill 4, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.